Oh, hello. Um, my name's Jamie Scallion. I'm here to read you an excerpt from my book, The Rock and Roll Diaries. The excerpt I'm going to read you is uh, a part of the book where my main character, Egg, who's a very shy, kind of geeky kind of character, um, finally finds his courage and sings one of his original songs to the band. They've been playing covers before that. I hope you enjoy. On a freezing cold January evening, the band arrived at rehearsals. It was the first practice for a month. T's noodling had pissed Bert off immediately. Can you shut up and stop playing when we're talking? Bert said. How are we going to get better if we can't hear ourselves think? T ignored him. Why do you have to play through everything anyway? We're trying to work something out. Bert looked up, winked at his singer and carried on playing. You really are a right, proper knobhead. Bert hissed, his face colouring. You're the knob, Burke. Have you ever considered I'm trying to work something out for the good of the song? Well, can you work it out when we've worked this out? How about a play quietly, compromise? No, shut up. T stopped noodling and stood up. I'm off. No point in sitting around here getting verbally abused. Egg looked at Clipper. Clipper looked at Bert. T scowled at them all. Bert looked worried. It's not that we don't appreciate you needing time to work stuff out. It's just that it makes things easier to work stuff out without background noise. Egg reasoned softly. So I'm background noise, am I? I didn't mean it like that. T put his bass guitar down and began to pack his stuff away. Come on, mate. No need to go off in a huff, Bert reasoned. For your information, I'm not in a huff. I'm officially leaving the band. For good. I think we should be an original band, Egg said out of the blue. T stopped packing his stuff away and stared at the guitarist. What do you mean original? We are original. Egg shifted in his chair. Original, as in we write our own songs. It's tedious just playing covers. No wonder we're arguing. Writing our own stuff will be more challenging. Egg looked around the room expecting a backlash. When none came, he continued. I think it'd be good for us. I think we have a lot to learn, you know, about being in a band. We need to listen to one another for a start. Who's going to write the songs? T asked. I could have a go, I suppose, Egg said quietly. Are you actually mental? T said. Why would we want to play one of your songs? Hold on, Clipper bellowed, putting his hand up. Have you got something you can play us, Egg? Egg nodded slowly, already starting to blush. It's only rough, and I'm not saying that we should play this type of stuff. He paused. I mean, it's only an idea. Just play the song, T yelled. Egg walked over to the school's battered old upright piano and sat down. He closed his eyes and began to play a melancholic tune. Awkward embarrassment spread across his screwed up face as he began to sing. Give me all your satellites and all your stunted cigarettes. Give me life and give me death. It don't matter how you do. As long as you believe in me and you. Clipper let out an audible gasp of surprise. The room was silent. Suddenly the large oak double doors burst open. Beck strode in, made straight for Egg, kissed him full on the lips, pulled back and put her hands on her hips and stared at him. That was the most beautiful and awesomest thing I've ever heard. She paused. You got any more? <laughs>